I might leave. Oh. In the <laughs> Joe Rogan gets high in flagrant. <laughs> All right. Hello, guys. Welcome to episode 33 of The Land. Um, my name is Ian. I'm Rob. And this is Oscar. Woo. Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, breaking news again. Breaking news. Joe Rogan gets <laughs> high and flagrant. <laughs> you, you know what I've been watching lately is a lot of cartel shit. Cartel? Like, um, <clears throat> like just sh- little shit about like Escobar and shit. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like um, documentary type, not like TV type. show type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Shit like that. Have you watched Narcos and shit? Um, I have seen. I think I'm like halfway through the first season of Narcos. Okay, the good Narcos where he's still alive. <laughs> um, he he used to he would kill off his artists that would build his mansions and shit. Why? Because they know the the no blueprint. yeah Whoa. no trace yeah type shit. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked Damn. up. Shit like that, and there's still supposedly money still sitting around, just dug up and shit. Mexico is um, Colombia. Colombia is um, <laughs> something else. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's shit like that. I'm so and, scared uh, about. That's why I'm scared about going to Mexico, Colombia. That's why we have the wall. Just anything. <laughs> Shit like that. I'm just scared about going to different countries. I know, man. I have a dude that's a teacher in Mexico. He's from fucking KC. But, uh, mm-hmm. Oh, it's Luke. Yeah, shout out Luke. Fucking Professor Luke. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever see, um, what's his fucking name? El Chapo's houses? Like um, when they got raided and they looked at the his escape route. Mm-hmm. So his fucking bathtub, like you just plug it in and like that shit raises up. What? And it's just stairs going into a cave, wow. bro. That's how he got out. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it raised up, and then he like it's a track, so he oh. he rides the bathtub <laughs> down. <laughs> Matterhorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Why are you leaving us? Uh just <laughs> a program. Yeah. <laughs> you said it's um okay. So Rob. You want to just say it? It's I'm still interested. In the works, yeah, it's in okay. the works. But like, I'm going to be in a program. It's an aviation maintenance program. That's pretty much it. Mm. But we have a school here, but it gets a bad rep. Oh. And the equipment's not great. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it sucks. You'd think uh, we'd have more programs out here, especially right. at like UNLV or something. Yeah. That's next to a fucking airport. Mm. <clears throat> but no, LA just has what I what Wait. I need, yeah. Mm-hmm. And like my GI Bill pays for it too. So, Ooh, wow, GI Bill. I thought that's crazy. Yeah. It so if you lot. you serve eighteen months active, mm-hmm. you get thirty six months just like free. Yeah. Oh, School's shit. paid. Only thirty six months. Yeah, I think if you get a hundred percent disability, like you can constantly use it wow your wife your spouse too your kids yeah um yeah 30 so like you mean wife and kids is included in this 36 months or they get their own 36 uh you can give them that 36 Mm. yeah wow interesting i um real quick i i wish i knew my my options besides college Going into right. high school, or being in high school, I guess. Cause that's what's like. That's what they drill into your fucking head, right. man. Yeah, I just didn't want to do four more years of school. I remember, like, growing up, middle school, elementary. I'm like, I just gotta do twelve years of this, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And then, like, college, four years, bullshit. Can't even get a job after that after you graduate. So 
I mean, just fucking seeing people with like a bachelor's and they're like, <laughs> there's so much in debt and yeah. they're like working at a fast food spot. They, That's yeah. the saddest fucking thing ever, man. They can't secure a job even though the resume looks good. Mm-hmm. But nowadays it's like, it doesn't matter what your resume looks like. It just, you need connections. You need, yeah, it's who you know and like really agree. Yeah, I guess. It's, it's I don't want to speak too much about it because I don't have a fucking degree in like anything great. Yeah. But I'm just saying like, it's kind of, you need a connection and you, honestly, these fucking trades are yeah. getting a lot of money, man. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so you're going to Hawthorne? Yeah. <clears throat> and it's for how long? Two years? It's an 18-month program. 18, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And then um, what are your plans after that? Uh, so I'm trying to get my foot in the door at SpaceX. So mm-hmm. it's either that or uh, I have a lot of connections at Van Nuys. Mm-hmm. Dang. So you just might not be in Las Vegas. <laughs> we'll bit, see huh? where the fuck this takes me, man. Because right. I'd like to come back. Mm-hmm. I do like the gun laws here. Yeah. Houses are nice. I'd like to build a house here too, eventually. That'd be dope. Yeah, maybe when, I'm sure if you can get six figures or close to Mm -hmm. six figures and you just spend your money wisely and save wisely, invest, you can retire at like 45, you know, Mm -hmm. and you might be good for, for a while. Like my brother, my oldest brother Eric, he um he's retired. He retired maybe eight years ago, mm-hmm. um, and he right now he is thirty nine, so he retired thirty thirty. <laughs> so it's like, sure he he made really good money, but he also didn't frivolously spend that money that he made. That's my fucking problem. Yeah, it's it sucks. <clears throat> um, but I mean, all you. Let's let's do a little financial talk. Hit me um, with that shit. All you gotta do is save ten percent of your your income. Um, figure out your budget, how much you spend, what your bills look like, your monthly bills, um, stuff like that. You know, food, gas, Netflix, Hulu, all that, and then save ten percent, and, <laughs> and then. Um, yeah, once you figure out your budget, seeing where you spend your money, you can kind of like, you know, get a little bit of a tighter hold without feeling constricted with your your daily life. So it's like if you can afford coffee every day, you can drink your coffee every day. But just make sure you save 10% of your, your income. income. Another topic is like teachers not even getting paid. Yeah. Yeah, it's like teachers not getting paid and because they're not getting paid, they're not like passionate about passionate about teaching. Mm-hmm. You know? Like very rarely do you have a teacher that's <clears throat> passionate and fucking fun. Yeah. I could name like only three teachers that I truly feel like they impacted my life because mm-hmm. they're a great teacher, which sucks. That's wild. But got to pay those teachers, man. Yeah. That's wild. <clears throat> all right back to your thing so you're gonna go to aviation school you're gonna get so it is it, it's a trade yeah and then after that you can work like at airports or military mm-hmm. bases stuff like that yeah so there's three things i'll, I'll be getting tested on mm-hmm. It's like a general aviation and airframe and power plant. But like after each section, you can test for it for like getting the license for it. Mm. That's my goal is getting the airframe and power plant license because a lot of places are looking for that. Um, But a lot of places, especially like big airports, like I know Spirit and Delta are really big on uh, apprenticeships. Mm Mm-hmm. Like before you even get your license. Yeah. So you could still get hands on while you're at school. So mm. that's the plan too. So it's either like I go to like a a big company like that or I go to Van Nuys. Yeah. Which I'm thinking of working on the side while I'm not in school. Mm. Like on my off time, just get some hands on and <laughs> shit. I just want to fucking commit myself to a trade. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> yeah, I've um 
that was, that's another option that's important to know in high school too. But uh, what about um, your fireman stuff? I mean, I still have my the certs needed for it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of places around. I don't fucking LA fire is huge, but it's really hard to get into. Mm. But there's a lot of little fucking cities. Like you have um, Ventura to the west, and you have Long Beach and all that shit. Mm. It's just a lot of places. Yeah. So you're just waiting for that call, or that's the thing. I don't want to sit here and wait to the for yeah. the call. You know, yeah. I don't want to sit here and wait because what if like I don't land it until two years later? You right. know, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be like, fuck! I just wasted. Yeah, two, I could have fucking got my A and P. Yeah, you know, that's true. So that's kind of the goal for me is just fucking uh, keep my options open, but still don't completely throw that shit out the window. You know, because mm-hmm. I'm still in shape and I yeah. still know my knowledge. I'm still studying my shit. Like, uh-huh. Is that where you're going to go? Um, so we were making plans to go see Kendrick here, but you said you might not be able to make it because of uh, you might be in LA. Mm-hmm. Was yeah. that, what was that for? Uh, if they could get me in by August. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> But it looks like classes are packed. So, oh, I see. Uh, yeah, a different start date. Okay. Yeah. Dang. And you already told um, your wife about it? Oh, yeah. I'm sure she's done the whole process. Yeah. Damn. She's all about it. She's like, fuck yeah, bring me back to L.A. Yeah. (laughs) Is she from L.A.? Yeah, so she's born and raised in Reseda. Hmm. Dang. That's crazy. So she's all about, because we're always talking about going to like museums and fucking, we're big on Disneyland and shit. Yeah. You do love uh, Cali. I do. Don't like their gun laws, but dude, that, it's a beautiful state, man. Yeah. There's so much to do. Yeah, you can always come down here. It's not. Anyways. Yeah, it's not that fucking far. That's but. what I like about it too. Like especially the thing about I was so close. I was still close when I was in the military, but like I was in the field a lot. Mm-hmm. So like when shit happened, like family emergencies, like that was such a bitch. Because I'm oh. like, I'm already stressing over here. Yeah. But uh, it's much better being out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You can, I mean, if you want, you can just come here for a weekend and that's yeah. all you need. I mean, I used to do it all the time. Yeah. Fucking. Dang. Yeah. You're about to commute just to go shooting with us? <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, though. That's exciting. That's very exciting. Just trying to make it work, man. Ready for it. Fuck. <laughs> Sometimes Las Vegas can be like super fun. Sometimes it just doesn't fucking work out, Mm -hmm. you know. But you are going to Kendrick now. You got your tickets. I am going to Kendrick. I'm kind of surprised that um, the seats that we got, we kind of expected it not to like fucking, you know, everyone's trying to buy seats over there. Mm -hmm. But it was pretty cool that you're able to get seats right next to us. Dude, guaranteed those seats... Are like the seats I always look for because you see everybody. Oh, you really? Know? I love okay. that shit. I love seeing the fucking crowd blow yeah, the fuck up. That's good. Not being in the crowd and just like looking behind. Right. Shit. Uh-huh. Like you get to sit there and just be like, "Fuck yeah, this yeah. is dope." Okay. Because <clears throat> I've I always, um, when I went to see Tyler, we were like on the side in the middle. So mm. there are times where I would like look around to see the whole crowd, and yeah. it's fun. Um. But I was a little bit hesitant about the seats that we got just because it's so far away. Mm -hmm. So I was a little scared, but that's exciting. She'll be fine. I think the last time I had a seat like that was Khalid in Staples Center. Oh, okay. That was fucking cool to see, man. Ooh, hold on. We, there's so much shit going on over here, though. What do you mean? Because we have Kendrick coming. Uh, We have the Reggae Fest. Oh, yeah. Then fucking Dane Dane Vegas. Vegas. So we're going to see Keem twice. (laughs) Yeah, I was like kind of surprised by that. Yeah. He's playing Sunday, right? Yeah, so we see Keem, then we can die after that. (laughs) 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 Yeah. I'm I'm extremely excited to see baby Keem. Um, Me too. His music is such a pump up. For um for the gym, I fucking love working. I was Man. just working out to fucking to orange soda, bro. Orange soda, yeah. 
I'm excited for Keem if he can. Oh my God, Sheck West is on fucking Sunday too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's October. September 2nd through 4th, bro. Fuck, that's my birthday. Good. God damn it. I guess we're dying. <laughs> damn, September 2nd is on a Friday? Friday, Saturday, is Sunday. It? I guess so. It's a three day thing. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Let's do it. We'll get King out here. City Sayon, Girls. Thomas. Oh my God. T Pain. <laughs> <laughs> you know what um, Festival that looked kind of fun was um, Lovers and Friends. Yeah. The, the old school people, old school ish people. Yeah. Cause they fuck. I wanted to go to that too, man. They look like they're enjoying themselves. Cause it's like, I mean, obviously they're not touring, you know. Yeah. The the older folk. I love so it. It was, I love how they go to the smaller venues too. Yeah, it was nice to see them like fucking excited to play. You mm-hmm. know, that was dope. And then like the whole crowd is like, you know, our age or older, so like they're into it too because yeah. it's their music. That's so cool. So I dig that. I dig that. Someone die. How many people died? Honestly, I'm. I'm I, I mean, it, there has to be a few casualties at every single festival. Yeah, I think it was a couple just because of uh, heat exhaustion. Yeah, that's, I heard a lot of shitty stuff about that. Mm-hmm. There's only like two water booths or something, and they ran out of water, <laughs> and the water was hot too. <laughs> Bro, like it's fucking Vegas. Yeah, like, come on now. Um, <clears throat> what else do we want to talk about? This is a good thing about podcasts. Or talk about whatever. We can talk about fucking Stranger Things. Bro. Oh, okay, yeah. Vecna. Wait, wait. I'm still have two episodes Whoa. to watch. <laughs> but you know who Vecna is, so we're good. What do you mean? Huh? I just know Vecna. Like, I yeah, don't know yeah. who he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep I know my fucking Vecna. mouth shut. <laughs> But apparently, so my girlfriend told me that (laughs) (laughs) in episode one, season one, Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Okay. I need to rewatch it. Did you rewatch it to confirm? I just saw the TikTok. Okay. This is fucking ridiculous. I just find it fascinating how they have the whole story drawn out. In our fucking faces, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Before the series even begins. <clears throat> but I love this season. It's so good. It's crazy. So fucking good. good. Argyle's funny as fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I think um, I'm still on my conspiracy theory about fucking Hop being Red Guardian. Cause okay, remember the scene where Hopper breaks the hammer? Mm-hmm. I feel like they put a lot of like. They put an extra second in that scene of the the hammer breaking, and it just added like some supernatural ish type vibe that Hop is like strong as fuck, you know. Yeah. Even though, even though my bullshit theory is stupid as fuck, but so you have two episodes left. How, where, where's he at? Okay, so Hop. Um. Oh, okay, so. The scene ended with him and Enzo in the prison cell, and um, they hear the the demo dog mm-hmm. um, in the background. Yeah, and then Joyce and Murray are flying to. Oh no, they crashed. <laughs> Probably should have died from that crash. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm I'm there. But it's this series is great, bro. I need July to. Come on, already, man. It's, it's beginning of July, right? Yeah, July first. Fuck, I'm so excited for July too. Oh my god, Stranger Things Part Two. You got Thor. South Park. South Park is back. <laughs> <laughs> Thor: Love and Thunder. Mm-hmm. Same, same first week. Oh my UFC god. 276. Same week. It's gonna be popping, man. Let's go see Rogan, man. Shit. Oh yeah, Rogan's what July first? Yeah. Damn. Have you bought... Have you seen Joe Rogan here, right? Recently? Yeah, it was uh, when Chappelle came out. Oh. Uh, Segura and Rogan opened up for him. Oh, okay. How is he as a stand-up comedian? 
I don't think I've ever watched he's his stand-up. funny. He's he's in the he's like Bill Burr. He's aggressive. Oh, you know, aggressive okay. jokes. Uh-huh. <clears throat> he's good. <laughs> Better than um this Dale podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Better than his podcast? Nah. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about that. I've never um watched his his it's cool up. his bits include a lot of the shit that he talks about on the podcast oh okay yeah i guess that's what he has to do right yeah it's kind of i mean yeah. when you're comedians talk about their life and that's his life so mm-hmm. that's what you guys <laughs> kevin hart talking shit on his kids <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um back to stranger things i think because I remember you're saying that Stranger Things is like your top and your top like TV shows, right? And I was like thrown back from it. I was like, wow, really? Stranger Things? Yeah. But I just got to stop like I like I'm not I wasn't hating on it, but I tend to see I tend to hate on things that I haven't rewatched, I guess, Mm because it's been so long since I've seen Stranger Things. And like um, Eminem, I hate on Eminem for just a tiny bit, but I'm listening to his uh, his music recently, and I'm like, damn, this shit is fucking good. So old shit or the new shit? Uh, old shit. Yeah. Um, so I just lost. I just forgot about Eminem. You know, happens. But yeah, it's a lot of stuff where I like. I'll I'll hate on something, and then I'll go back to it. And I'm like, damn, I wish I didn't like tell everyone i hated this thing yeah, so much, yeah you know i do that shit too man <clears throat> like lebron james too i hate lebron <laughs> fuck <but>. lebron james <laughs> <laughs> i hate lebron but fucking gotta respect him you yeah. know he's great i think that's that's gonna be like next year's uh resolution for me my goal to not hate anything and to not mm. make assumptions i hate yeah. making assumptions I, yeah i remind myself about that type of shit every mm-hmm. day assumptions will kill you Fuck. um you excited to shoot your gun yes um he did it i finally bought my my glock 19x it was uh i was getting so like antsy about getting my gun too like at first maybe like beginning of may because i kept saying like end of may end of may I was just like, eh, if it happens, like I'll I'll get around to it if I don't get it end of May. But as like the weeks started coming up, I was like, give me the fucking gun, you know. Mm-hmm. And then all these like shootings started started happening. I'm like, fuck, man, what a like this is the time now to protect myself. Mm-hmm. So got the 19x. I was a little bit hesitant on the color, but seeing it in person, it looks. Feels beautiful. nice in the hand, huh? Oh my god, it looks beautiful. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm extremely excited to, to shoot that gun. But I gotta learn how to like clean it and everything. Mm-hmm. Now I gotta get like what a cleaning kit and yeah, just go on stuff Amazon, like man. That. Or actually, you can go to fucking Walmart. They have some oh, good cleaning kits. Okay. Good fluids. <clears throat> I will say it's a little. It was weird bringing the gun into my house. Really. Yeah. yeah. Um just cuz it's like fuck. I have like a weapon. Mm-hmm. Um and then I'm like I probably should find a better hiding spot, but I have the lock on it just cuz again like my 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 terrible thoughts are like, well, I I'm okay, but what if my family for whatever reason decides they want to end themselves, you know? So it's like fuck. Now they have access to it. Yeah. So I'm hiding. I'm I'm hiding it away from my family too. But they're all cool with it. So I'm. You need some hollow excited. points. Um, I got some in the car. Yeah. Uh, I thought that's for only if you concealed carry. No. Or is that better for um self defense? Yeah. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Because it doesn't go through It'll the body. It just fucking expands. Flowers man. out. <laughs> <laughs> Joel's my favorite. I like Joel's definition of hollow points. 
Me too. But <laughs> we'll we'll say that one later. We'll um, save it for Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited. I did tell my manager, I was like, yeah, we used to go shooting Saturdays because it worked out in the mornings. But now that I'm working nine to five, I can't <laughs> yeah. can't do it anymore. So he was like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. So I was like, oh, shit. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> how's, um, how's work? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Slow. Just because, like, everyone's gone. Hmm. I didn't know you guys had like busy and oh, I guess it makes sense if the fights here. Yeah, yeah. If it's fight week here and fucking busy. fighters are constantly coming in and out, oh. bring their whole fucking entourage. Yeah, which I think it, they kind of cut down on because I think Forrest got pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> so you have, is it your job to like make sure, say like, who who has bad blood? Like, I don't know. It's a lot. I think Strickland's the guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When Strickland's scheduled to come in to like train or pick up food, like we need to watch who's who's currently there. The area. You know. Yeah. Damn, man, what an asshole. <laughs> but if an actual like fight has a fight taking place between two fighters, in there. Yeah. Uh. When Connor would come around his oh. opponents, then, okay. Uh, who else was it? It was Uriah Hall and someone else. Uriah Hall. Yeah, they fucking got into it. I wasn't hired yet, but uh, uh, they they tell me about this about one it. all the time. Damn. Yeah. Um. So when that does happen, you guys have to step in to break yeah. it up. Yeah. That sounds rough. I mean, it's not bad because like the cornermen are. Oh. They're, they're fucking, also helping. Yeah. Oh. They're like, let's not fucking do this yeah. shit. <laughs> We're just trying to use this yeah. as a training spot. You know. Oh. Dang. That sounds like a rough ass job. Yeah, it's all right. <clears throat> I remember, um, I think it was like Ray and Ron. They're like, "Yeah, dude, just fucking apply for like security at USC or something." I'm like, "I don't think I can handle that." Like, I can do like the everyday, like walk around, make sure everything's good stuff. But if actual mm-hmm. shit goes down, yeah, what the fuck am I gonna do against fighters? I guess rowdy at uh, events like Apex, bro, because mm. there's a lot of from the crowd. It's just different gems coming in. Oh. So you have them sitting next to each other and saying their fighters are fighting and they're yeah. cheering for their guy and that <laughs> fucking team get yeah. pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I think the last time it was when Brad Tavares yelled at some fucking manager, bro. <laughs> like in his face. Damn. Yeah. He was like, I told you, shut the fuck up. His parents are right in front of you, bro. Mm. Yeah. Fucking Brad. It's, uh, it's a rough sport, bro. Mm-hmm. There's nothing like it, that's for sure. Nothing like it, yeah. I like that. Brad Tavares. I think, um, I wonder how uh, BJ Penn is doing with his... His government. Yeah. Governor shit. Because, um, I mean, obviously it's a different... He's not a politician. Mm-hmm. Um, and people are... <clears throat> they like that approach. Not approach, but they like people that aren't politicians, you know true um so i wonder if he's uh doing well i hope so because he, he has the right mindset yeah just like everyone else like they grew up in the shit yeah so that they their goal is to make wherever the fuck they're coming from make it better yeah throughout the entire state because mm-hmm. hawaii's getting pretty bad too yeah so hopefully i mean he has good intentions he's just yeah it's not it's not his uh it's not his like sector, bro. He doesn't really yeah, know much. He, he didn't grow up wanting mm. to be a politician, yeah. so or a governor. I mean, yeah, yeah. I kind of at first I was like, "That's stupid. Like, why are you doing that?" But mm-hmm. hey, if something needs to change in Hawaii, then why not? Right? Mm. I dig it. I need to. I want to like call my my family back in Hawaii, see what they their thoughts on that since shit. they live there. You know, yeah. I can't say much when. <clears throat> I'm in Vegas and have no idea about what's going on in Hawaii. Yeah, it was fascinating to hear my parent, like my parents' thoughts on Pacquiao running. Yeah, a yeah. lot of people don't want him to. Yeah, just because like it's not his. Too, right? Yeah, yeah. But is he like the same situation of like he just wants to make the Philippines better? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, still fucking lost, but. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, he wasn't. It wasn't even like close, right? Like he wasn't nah. runner up or anything. Nah. Dang. Could be corrupt, bro. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me turn on the fucking. The fuck does that say? What cereal lasts the longest in milk? Don't make fun of my. Is this your algorithm? That's my subscription. Oh. Good Mythical Morning. <laughs> Did you watch that? Oh, you... oh, I watched it a oh, lot. 11 hours ago. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't watch it yet. Do you want to know? Yeah, what you is it? find out? No. <laughs> uh, no, they just do a lot of, like, food stuff. Oh. Um, they, they, they see which chicken sandwich is the best chicken sandwich. They figure out which food is... Like they'll take frozen food, um, drive through fast food type of the same food, <laughs> sit in like cafe food, and then like fine dining. They're all the same like dish, but they just trying to figure out which one tastes the best. So it's like, do you want to spend 30 bucks on fried rice or are you good spending 10 bucks on fried rice that tastes better, you know? <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any deals for uh Krispy Kreme? Krispy Kreme? <laughs> I think we got buy one dozen, get the second dozen for a dollar. All right. Watch party. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do for watch party? Wingstop? I think so. I think Jared is uh a little bit over the barbecue stuff for a little bit. Just because it's a lot of <laughs> trash for him. I love watching a dude like that. Just carry a big ass piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun though. Yeah. I really enjoyed fucking the Fucking all you guys were throwing down, bro. Yeah. I I really appreciated um Devin and Jared buying meat too to grill. It felt family like. Like we're old grilling shit. Family. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then um, the fights were fun. What a good night that one was. Do it again. Do it again this Saturday. Oh, this is for next week or the following week's podcast. God damn it. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to Mali- Malibu next yeah. week. What are you doing? Um, Just spend time with my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. We need the vacation, I think. It's nice over there. I'm excited, but also, like, I was looking around the area, and there's some fucking mansions <laughs> all over. And I'm like, God right, damn. The fucking cliffside and shit. Yeah. That's fucking nuts, dude. And then the hotel that we got, it's, like, a good amount of money. Mm-hmm. But also, like, the cheapest hotel in that area. Like it's a jump from like four hundred straight to like eight hundred and yeah. so I'm like, God damn. That's fucking awesome. But yeah, we're going to Malibu. We're gonna spend all day at the beach. Mm-hmm. Eat some good ass <laughs> seafood, hopefully. Ooh. And- <laughs> <laughs> you ever had lobster? Yeah. Like a lobster tail lobster? Mm-hmm. It's been a couple like months. It? Yeah, I like it. Is it better than is that like better than crab? I personally love crab more, mm-hmm. but it's, yeah, it's good. I don't think I've only had lobster like in a roll mm-hmm. or like maybe like a lobster quesadilla, but I've never had just straight up lobster yeah. tail. It's pricey. Yeah. <laughs> I just hear it's, it's like, it's just a really big ass shrimp, right? Yeah. That's the thing, dude. Whenever I'm like ordering seafood. Mm-hmm. I'd rather get more shrimp than a fucking lobster. Yeah, yeah. You know? A little bit cheaper and you get more of it. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go to boiling crab. I fucking love boiling crab, man. Maybe we should do a uh, oh seafood shit. boil. Splatter? Yeah. Fuck. All over. Just fucking put on Jared's I'll Fucking come table. in my pants, dude. <laughs> we'll do that. Grab some, make some rice or something. Get a little uh, high. Juice. <laughs> Make good. <laughs> we'll do that. I'll I'll pitch the idea. It is a little pricey, but Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Maybe we'll do Wingstop and Seafood Boy. 
All right. Um, let's do a music recommendation. You got any nice songs you want to plug? <laughs> I won't play it, but Two of America's Most Wanted by Tup- Tupac okay. and Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what I got. Um, What song has been hitting? Stats by Baby Keem. Stats? When I go, when I'm in the car to go to the gym, I'll bump the fuck out of that song, and I'm ready. That's what you need. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Good. All right. Peace out. Peace. (laughs)